Josh Dam Mandel. Yeah. Ohio Senate candidate released a campaign ad and said, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You see, uh, Dr. King's daughter inspired me. Uh, and this is about the Edmund Pettus Bridge, uh, the very famous bridge where the former uh, Congressman, the late Congressman John Lewis uh, had his head bashed in by racist people. All right, well, that was the site of Bloody Sunday, Civil Rights March. Uh, now this person is invoking the name of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. to argue that children should not be taught critical race theory in schools. Here it is. Critical race theory is crap. Martin Luther King marched right here, so skin color wouldn't matter. I didn't do two tours in Ambar province, fighting alongside Marines of every color to come home and be called a racist. There's nothing racist about stopping critical race theory and loving America. Josh Mandel, pro God, pro gun, pro Trump. And pro dumbass. Sir, first of all, Dr. King believed in the concepts of critical race theory. He subscribed to the framework. I'm sure you have done zero research, but let me educate you. You see, Dr. King from 1964 and beyond started talking about something called equity. But he utilized the terminology genuine equality. He said it's one thing to sit at a restaurant where you choose, but it's another thing to own it. He was talking about an equitable principle. He also talked about universal basic income because of systemic racism and how it impacted primarily black Americans. That in order to change that reality, you can't just change the systems and you can't just change out the people, you must also change the economy. That is a critical race theory concept. In addition to that, Dr. King also argued against redlining, which is once again, a systemic issue that discriminates against black individuals. And the list goes on and on. Well, this is quite fascinating because Dr. King's daughter got involved here. Good for her. I'm good friends with Bernice King. Mandel, Mandel would essentially taunt Bernice King, mockingly saying that she inspired him to feel to film the ad. Let's put up the tweet. Just think about how ridiculous this guy is, right? Josh Mandel says, thank you, Bernice King and the King Center for motivating me to film this ad. My visit to Selma was powerful and inspiring. And I look forward to returning and bringing my kids. Okay, there is a response, but before I go to the response, um, he went to Selma to shoot a damn commercial, contrary to the spirit of those who were bloody at that march. And contrary to the spirit of Dr. King and the sentiment of the civil rights movement. King, Dr. King, Dr. Bernice King tweeted back. Here's the response. Josh, regretfully, I do not believe that I or the King Center legitimately motivated you to film this ad. As it is in opposition to nonviolence and too much of what my father taught. I encourage you. To study my father slash nonviolence in full, register the King Center Institute dot org. Then Josh would say that King didn't know her own father's history. Damn, the privilege in this one runs deep. Josh said, your father knew the importance of the Second Amendment when he tried to exercise his right to self-defense and was wrongly denied a gun permit by anti-gun racist. Firearms, violence, study your history better, Bernice King. Now this guy's so damn silly, I don't even know if it's worth my commentary or response. That was one of the most ridiculous rebuttals I've ever heard in my life. Um, Bernice King would then respond with excerpts from her father. Let me read these, it's important to get on the record here. 
after the bombings, many of the officers of my church and other trusted friends urged me to hire a bodyguard and armed watchman for my house. I tried to tell them that I had no fears now and consequently needed no protection, but they were insistent. So I agreed to consider the question. I also went down to the sheriff's office and applied for a license to carry a gun in the car, but this was refused. Meanwhile, I reconsidered. How could I serve as one of the leaders of a nonviolent movement and at the same time use weapons of violence for my personal protection? There's more. Coretta and I talked the matter over for several days and finally agreed that arms were no solution. We decided then to get rid of the one weapon we owned. We tried to satisfy our friends by having floodlights mounted around the house and hiring unarmed watchmen around the clock. I also promised that I would not travel around the city alone. She was giving Josh a proper education, but isn't it ironic, shameful? That she has to tell this white male privileged individual that she actually knows her father better than he does. There's more. Meanwhile, my dear sister Morgan Harper, we had on the show, all right, this week. Uh, that is Josh's Democratic opponent responding to the ad. Here's what Harper said The Republican Party's tired. CRT talking points bear no resemblance to reality. But for Josh Mandel to misappropriate Dr. King, the civil rights movement and the legacy of Selma for his own political gain is absolutely outrageous. She continued, Mandel continues to stoop to new lows in his efforts to divide our state. He offers no actual solutions to Ohioans including his fellow veterans that he uses as political props in his ads. She continued, meanwhile, people all over Ohio are desperate for action. We need higher paying jobs, better health care, including mental health care and help starting and growing businesses. Now the racism and division that Mandel is offering. Um, if you would like to support Morgan Harp, Harper's campaign, uh, go to the link, all right? Go to Act Blue, donate Morgan Harper for US Senate. Uh, I support her fully. Ms. Tucker, a lot to unpack there. What are your thoughts? Let's do it. So first of all, this argument that critical race theory is crap is proving to be inaccurate. Um, because if we had critical race theory, then he wouldn't be so ignorant to his history. <laughs> That's right. So if, we wanna, if we wanna talk about history, he would have been better off praising the Black Panther Party, right? Because that's essentially where this um, uh, putting restrictions on gun registrations and stuff like that came from, right? So you would have been better off there instead of Martin Luther King. Um, but I, my issue too is that we've allowed white people to tell their version of their history for so long. And now when black people wanna do it, it's a problem. And now we're teaching racism. But y'all told the story about the Boston Tea Party as if you guys did it because there was no taxation without representation, right? You guys talk about the second amendment because you're saying we want the states to be able to protect themselves against federal militias. Y'all don't go back and tell them that y'all did it because of y'all Virginia compromise, right? Because you didn't want slaves to revolt and run up on y'all slave owners and get y'all back for the what y'all have done for however many years. So the historical aspect of it is crap. Um, I hope people see through this stuff and we show up for the primaries in our elections because at this point it's just getting utterly ridiculous. Know your facts before you come on the big screen. 